Republicans, meanwhile, seeing a struggling U.S. president as an opportunity to take control of Congress. His policies have been a disaster. The American people have realized that. He's had 52 weeks of bad weeks. I mean, people are 7 percent poorer now because of Biden inflation. We're going to take the House and we're going to take the Senate. In the Senate, let me tell you, we've got great candidates running. Um, we're raising money. Uh, the, the Joe Biden is cratering. People look at all this and they, they feel it every time they fill up their car uh, and they see a system that's failing and they don't see he any evidence that the Biden team realizes that. Let's bring in New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor Miranda Devine. Miranda, great to see you. It struck me this morning, looking through the headlines, on some of the outlets, websites, networks that usually are pretty sympathetic to this president's struggles. Headlines like this on CNN politics, Biden will mark inauguration anniversary, still be set by crises. Uh, NPR, as Biden prepares to mark one year in office, there may not be a celebratory mood. And CBS News had this headline, Biden at year one, not enough focus on inflation leaves many frustrated. Is this a sign that this administration is losing more and more voters? Well, look, I think that those friendly news outlets that have done nothing but puff up the administration since Joe Biden took office are starting to realise that they're not, it's not working. Uh, the polls, no matter how you massage them, are terrible for Joe Biden. And that is a reflection of his deep unpopularity in the public, uh, which really started uh, with Afghanistan. I think that was when um, a, a lot of red pills were taken by former Biden voters who saw that this president makes empty promises, tells lies, and ultimately is incompetent. These uh, self-inflicted crises are affecting people's own lives, their hip pockets. And so now, after 10 weeks, he's finally having a press conference on Wednesday. Um, it's telling in itself that that is breaking news that White House uh, Press Secretary Jen Psaki announced this press conference with great fanfare from the podium because Joe Biden has been uh, hiding. He has not been accountable. Whenever we see him in public talking to the American people, he's railing and shouting and mm. yelling and haranguing half the country for, for disappointing him for not going along with the Democrats' radical prescriptions on voting rights or yeah. whatever else they have in mind. And I think we can only hope that these new found uh, critical headlines will lead to some serious questions in this press conference oh, because that could be good. I think the reason the white the white house is is impervious and unfocused because they get this rails run from the media. They need some some tough talking to change course. We'll see if that's the case uh, two days away from that. But meanwhile, uh, we continue to see this White House and its press secretary, Jen Psaki, defending the multiple challenges he faces. Listen. If you look back at last year and what we were able to accomplish, that include getting the American Rescue Plan passed. He also pressed, despite skeptics, uh, to get a bipartisan infrastructure bill passed. And because of his efforts, 200 million Americans are now vaccinated. The work of an administration continues after one year, and it will, he will continue to press forward on all of those priorities. Yet I'll point to this latest Gallup poll just out that it shows the U.S. is shifting from a Democratic preference to Republican in 2021. As far as party identification and leaning, it is now majority Republican, 47 percent. That's a 14 point swing, Miranda. So is Jen Psaki and her defense of this president, his handling of things like the economy and foreign affairs. Is she fooling anyone? No, uh, I mean, it seems like it's just a comfort blanket uh, to try and reassure maybe the president and those around him in the White House that the poll numbers that they're seeing cratering uh, are not really serious. Um, uh, it doesn't fool anybody. It doesn't help. It's certainly not going to convince the American people that they need to vote for Democrats. I mean, they've seen the, the country fall mm. apart very quickly. And Joe Biden's rhetoric does not reflect uh, any seriousness of purpose or policy changes. Um, what they need now is a real reset, not just to try and burnish the president's, uh, you know, reputation by getting him to go off and give food to the homeless on a Sunday. Um, that doesn't work. We need real, yeah. uh, I guess, 
chagrin and some admission of failure from the president and the White House, some humility and some understanding that they are going in the wrong direction and that Joe Biden was hired as a unifier and uh, as as a moderate, and he's behaved as the opposite. It's the only thing that will get them over the line, demonising Republicans, demonising Trump supporters, uh, trying to weaponise the apparatus of the security state against their political opponents is lethal to them. I've only got about 30 seconds left, but Miranda, my final question to you is this. With apparently the ball in the court of Republicans now, if things are going so well for them and voter, uh, voters are leaning more Republican now because of all these challenges, how should Republicans seize on the moment? Should they be pitching their own solutions or just rolling out the welcome mat? Well, one thing you need to do is uh, get out of the way when your opponent is making a lot of mistakes. But secondly, don't rest on their laurels. This, these polls are for Republicans, not because of anything great they've yeah. done. It's because of how bad Joe Biden is. They need to present, as Glenn Youngkin did, an alternative, a sober, sensible alternative. Great way to tie that all together there. Miranda Devine from The New York Post, appreciate it. Thank you very much and good to see you. Thanks, Sandra. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.